I want to now bring in Alyssa um, Statman. She's the author of a book called Restless Souls, the Sharon Tate family's account of stardom, the Manson murders, and a crusade for justice. She co-wrote that book with Sharon Tate's niece, Bree Tate. Um, Alyssa, thanks for, for being on tonight. I'd love to get your reaction to this stunning news that Leslie Van Houten walked out this morning. Thanks for having me, Ashley. Um, it is stunning news, and um, I think that I can speak on behalf of Patty Tate's children, um, Sharon's nieces and nephew, that they're absolutely devastated that this happened. Um, she should not be paroled. She should not be out on the streets. And it is a complete injustice for the crimes that she committed. I can imagine that um, there are several victims' family members. Be they still alive? Because this, again, was you know, a half century ago, uh, who would probably feel the same way. And there may be many people watching as well who have no connection, um, who have the same, you know, the same sensibilities. I, if I can't list that, I want to play an audio clip. Um, it's a 1971 conversation that Leslie Van Houten was having with her then court-appointed attorney. His name was Marvin Part. And she was talking about what it felt like to stab another person, presumably Rosemary LaBianca, and whether she was sorry for what happened. Let, let's listen to it together, and I want to ask you about it on the other side. I took the knife, and I started stabbing, and I, and I turned into an animal almost. It was hard to get it through. It, like, when I thought of stabbing, I didn't, I, I didn't really have any idea in my mind, but it's a real feeling. It's not even like cutting a piece of meat. It's much tougher. And it was, I had to use both hands and all my pressure, all my strength behind it to get it in. Could you tell us how you feel now about uh, what happened to the uh, La Biancas and all the other people that were killed? Well, I can't really feel sorry because I did it. And I did it with every intention of it being right. How about the people that are dead? Don't you feel sorry for them? I, 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 to be honest, no. Why don't you feel sorry for the dead people? Well, all it is is a body. If uh, you could turn the clock back and uh, go back to that night that you asked Charlie to go along with him to kill the Lombiancas, although you didn't know who was going to be killed, do would you do it again? Yes, I would. I can't, I can't feel sorry for what I've done. It is chilling, Alyssa, to, to hear that. Um, I, I should say she was, I think, 21, somewhere abouts. It was three years after the, the murders were committed. But that's a far cry, hearing that just horrendous um, account. Um, just no compunction whatsoever for these hideous murders. It's a far cry from the model prisoner she became over a half century. Is there anything that should be ascribed to her and the justice system, because rehabilitation is kind of what we're all about. And if rehabilitation is what we want out of incarceration, she would be the prime candidate. Is there anything to that for you? Is she really a prime candidate? You know, the Board of Prison Terms, one of the most important things to make you eligible for parole, to get a parole date, is to take full responsibility for your crimes. And Leslie Van Houten, to date, has never taken full responsibility for her crimes. She has said, I participated. She has said, I stabbed Rosemary a little bit after she was dead. She has blamed it on Manson. She has blamed it on Watson. She has blamed it on everybody but Leslie. She is no more rehabilitated today than she was the day she entered the, uh, the California Department of Corrections. You know, it, 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 if she can't take responsibility for these crimes, what is she doing on the streets? I do want to ask about the families, because I know that for so long, over the course of decades, they showed up at these uh, parole hearings. Um, were they at the last one? And have they been able to register any kind of opposition in any other way than the typical way? They've done everything they can. Uh, yes, they were at the parole hearings. They attended the parole hearings. Um, and they have done everything that they can, uh, petition drives, everything else. You know, I think that um, it's very sad that Governor Newsom chose this time to not take a stance against her. You know, I heard her uh, attorney say that she was a sweet old lady now. 
And um, yeah, she's old. And that's what happens when you get life in prison. You grow old and you die in prison. And that's more than I can say for any of her victims. Well, listen, I can't uh, thank you enough, Alyssa, for being on again. It's nice to have a conversation with you again. I know we talked um, some time ago, and I'm sorry it's under these circumstances, but I do appreciate your um, your contribution to this. Just an incredible day and a really, uh, I mean, what a, what, a, what a century it's been. Thanks for being on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.